Today we're going to talk about DeviceNet diagnostic tools. What I have in my hand here is the DeviceNet NetMeter. Great tool to help people quickly diagnose and troubleshoot problems that can be happening on their DeviceNet network. Now this tool is designed to identify very specific problems on the network. We designed it based on our experience working with many DeviceNet customers over many years. It became very clear that when people are having DeviceNet problems, in most cases, these problems are the result of something in the physical layer of the network. In other words, the physical connectivity or cabling system that is connecting all of the devices together out on their device net network. Here's how the tool works. There's a device net connector on the bottom of the tool. You can make the connection here and plug it into the device net network anywhere on the network that you like. It's not critical where to plug into the network. So just find an unused access point. There could be a T that's unused out there. There could be an IO block that has an in connector and an out connector, and one of those is not being used. So you can plug into one of the bus connectors on an IO module or on a device. When you plug this into the device net network, put the dial into the auto scan position right here in the top center, turn the meter on, and within three seconds, it's going to take 697 different measurements, and it's going to come back with either a smiley face, a neutral face, or a frown face. If you see a smiley face, everything is okay, and the network is performing fine, no issues that need to be addressed. If there's a neutral face or a frown face, that's an indication that there may be a problem in that physical layer of the network that needs to be investigated. The device net net meter has a protective yellow outer cover and the meter can be easily removed from that cover. When you remove it from the cover, in the back is where the battery compartment is located. So you simply remove the screw from the back and it runs on two AA batteries which are included with the net meter. The net meter kit comes with the meter, user's guide, male female M12 device net cable, male mini change to M12 device net cable, plus a device net diagnostic tee and a carrying case for all of your tools and equipment. Okay, one important accessory that comes with the device net net meter is the net meter user's guide. So this is an important tool to be used to help the user interpret the data that they're seeing on the net meter. So once you see that a problem is occurring on the network, you, there's a number that is referenced about where that problem is. In this case, we're looking at an uh, out-of-limit reading for the shield. Okay, that's reading number five. So the user rotates to position number five on the dial, but then also what the user should do is open up the user's guide and check out the information pertaining to shield voltage. So there's a great explanation as to what the importance of shield voltage is, what shield voltage is measuring. But then, in this section right here, it explains what a shield voltage problem is an indication of and how you go about fixing the problem. So for every one of the parameters that's measured by the device net net meter, there's a corresponding position on the rotary dial and a corresponding tab in the user's guide. 